This is the AEW women. Um, this is Maria Shafir. She used to be an MMA fighter. And believe it or not, she was in NXT. She never made it out the training center. She ain't the only one. It's four of them. No, she was the fourth one. Yeah, Shayna Baszler, Ronda Rousey, her, and it's another girl. Her and the other girl never made it. But AEW picked her up. She's dating somebody in the Federation. And that's why they picked her up. This woman has no wrestling at all. You can talk to me all day. She has no wrestling ability. She has no facials. She got the personality of a slice of toast. Now, if you will tell me that I'm incorrect at what I'm saying, I'm going to laugh you off the building, okay? Seriously. Ain't nobody scared of this woman. You look in her eyes. You look in her blue eyes and you see nothing. You look in them blue eyes and you see nothing. She keeps acting like she tough. And then... That dang old he she over there. I don't know why the heck Tony keep putting her on. I wonder who had the poster of her hanging on that wall. I'm asking the question. I don't talk about stuff that I don't know. I've been watching wrestling since 1982. The first thing I ever seen in professional wrestling was when Raider Crippler Stevens power drive Jimmy Snooker twice on concrete floor and broke his neck. And Captain Lou Albano was his manager. That was the first that was the first match I ever seen. I was hooked. I was hooked. And I remember. I remember Arn Anderson. His real name is Dolph Lundy. He's not even a real Anderson. Don't believe me? Go watch the old Mid South and CWA and see Arn Anderson over there as a preliminary man. A prelim gem. You can go see Jeff Jarrett when he was a boy. When he was a referee getting beat up. Go back and look at Kurt Hennig. Go back and look at Jerry Lawler. Go look at Dick Bockwinkle. Jack Briscoe. Iceman King Parsons. The Freebirds. The Von Axe. Mr. Wrestler 2, Jim Cornette, Kamala, Big John Stud. I can name all day because I was a wrestling fan. I used to walk around. always had the, the inside wrestling magazines. I always had the, the pro wrestling illustrator and the wrestler. I had all of them. I was a wrestler fan. When I was young, I believed it was real until I got out there and started my own league and I chopped somebody and they didn't go down. I closed line somebody they didn't go down. Then I said, wait a minute. I hear but somebody they didn't go down. I said, this stuff ain't real. <laughs> so, when somebody tell me I'm a WWE mark, I've watched MLW. I don't understand why the Samoan is there. I forgot his name, but he, he threw the splash off the top rope. He was the he was the world champion for a long time. Why the hell ain't he in WWE? He should be in the bloodline. Is he a drug addict? I gotta ask the question. I keep asking the question. Why isn't Jordan Grace in WWE? You see the physique she got on her now? She used to be fat and chubby when she was in WWE to let it go. She was too damn fat. Was it wasn't gonna be on the bike poster. But now she chiseled. Did, did she got heat? How come how come why why is she not I'm asking the question. Why is she not wrestling? I don't know who recorded this, but this show is dark. It's dark on both screens. And it's red. I don't know who recorded this. It's it's both it's both screens. Both projectors. Coming like that. This is a bad recording. Well, maybe they won't flag. Look at Vicky Guerrero. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I remember. 
When the Undertaker first came in, I didn't like him because he couldn't wrestle. I remember the wrestling magazines. They always wanted to put Ric Flair over Hulk Hogan. I couldn't understand why. Because Hulk Hogan only wrestled three times a week. And Ric Flair wrestled five times a week. Well, Ric Flair get disqualified five times a week. But throwing somebody over the top rope and having the four horsemen cheat for him. Why the hell Hulk Hogan win? Ric Flair wrestling old men like Terry Funk. And Dick Slater wrestling Dusty Rhodes out of shape, but Hulk Hogan is in there wrestling Kamala and King Kong Bundy and Big John Studd and Andre the Giant and the Ultimate Warrior. And they were saying that Ric Flair was better. I don't know if they're done. Like, really? Well, Hulk Hogan went to WCW and showed everybody when he went in there and beat everybody up. Took the belt for Ric Flair. <laughs> As a young man, I took a lot of pleasure in that. I missed WCW. But it did get phony at the end. I don't know what Eric Bischoff, the, the NWO. I was the NWA. Sweet! We used to do it on job all the time. I was a NWA. Anything that had NWO on it, I would watch it. Anything that had NWO, I would buy it. But then he kept making it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then finally, you know, <clears throat> it, had, it had a bunch of bums in there. Then you had the NWO Red the Red with Kevin Nash. And then you had the LWO, the Latino World Order. And then you had the Blue World Order. And it just like, it got out of control. They didn't know when to stop it. But like I said, uh, I personally don't particularly, uh, I really try to enjoy the AEW. I try. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The wrestling, the wrestling is better on when I turn on Ring and Honor and I don't know the people. I enjoy the Ring of Honor more than, I, you know, I, I'm just saying. Like AW, I haven't watched it yet, but I will. I just finished watching uh, NXT. It was pretty good. I was surprised that uh, Becky Lynch went over. And I, I was really happy to see uh, Chase University get a tag team championship, even though I, I like the mobsters. I was really happy to see them get the championship. I really was. See how we get the white to come through the black? It's not as crisp as the white is here. It's not as crisp. But good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> we did a good job. I'm still trying to figure out how to make it come through more crisper. But like I say, you know, People keep commenting and, you know, learn somebody's history. You know, I have a channel called Russell Talk with Brother Dark. It never took off. I should have stuck with it. it. It never took off, but uh, I made vi videos on wrestling. But like I say, people getting their feelings. I don't take it personal. But if you're ignorant, I'm ignorant back. If you're nice, I'm nice back. But don't try to play me. Because you know that the AEW, the last thing they do is phony. A lot of the wrestling that they do is phony. You know it and I know it. So don't act like what I'm saying don't make sense. Or it's crazy. If all you want to do is go to the matches and chant, then AEW is for you. If all you want to do is go say, fight forever, fight forever, shut the F up, shut the F up, 
You still got it. And that would that would you pay your money to go see? That's you. But the fact that they can't get nobody to watch, that proves it's not enough for you. They need to try something different. They need to bring in more people. If you want to see acrobatics, that's what Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey is for. That's what gymnastics is for. When I watch gymnastics, I don't want to see nobody punching. I want to see flips. When I want to see wrestling, I want to see the heel get beat up and get his comeuppance. That's what it pulled to be. But there's always been a segment that likes the heels. And now, in order to be a baby face, you got to be a heel. The Rock couldn't get over until he became a heel. And then marinate for a second. The Rock couldn't get over until he became a heel. If MJF would have came in as a baby face, he wouldn't have got over. But he came in as a heel. And now the people want him a baby face to beat up on the heels they don't like. That's what killed the wrestling. Do your research and see how many times has Ted DiBiase been a heel, then a fan favorite, then a heel... Did a fan favorite, did a heel, did a fan favorite. Look at gentleman's, Gentleman Chris Adams. How many times he been a heel and a fan favorite and a heel and a fan favorite. Instead of taking the belt off Ric Flair, when people got tired of him being a heel, they made him a fan favorite. They got tired of him being a fan favorite, they made him a heel. The wrestlers today don't have no charisma. Roman Reigns has charisma. Chad has charisma. Even though he 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 ain't a, he ain't got to be that skinny. That's a man made him look like a little boy. But he has charisma. L.A. Knight. I watched him in TNA. I watched him in NWA. I didn't put NWA on the list. My bad. I watched him in NWA. He's been good. What, what happened to Mr. Kennedy? Kennedy. What, um, what happened to the, the, the Cowboys with the beer bottles? One of them used to do super kick. Whatever happened to them? Uh, are they still wrestling? Mickey James, Wendy Richter, Ivan Pusky, Pedro Morales, Rocky Soulman Johnson. I could name so many wrestlers that I enjoyed watching growing up. The only person that I would wear on, on my body's name if I'm walking outside, the only wrestler. That's wrestling right now. The only wrestler will be Roman Reigns. And I won't do it because he don't defend the belt. That's why I don't have the Roman Reigns gear. Who, who else is worthy of you wearing on your back? Brian Danielson get injured too much. He ain't won nothing. John Moxley a dead going retard. Phony, phony outlaw rascal, what to be. Sure as heck ain't wearing no daggone uh, Orange Cassidy or Darby Allen. They dweebs. Who? Who in AD, who in AW would you wear on your back or your, or your chest? Well, what name would you put on your body and walk around and have everybody look like you're a damn retard? Seriously. I can't think of nobody.
nobody. Nobody. There's nobody from AEW that I would wear on my body. And that's sad to say. As somebody who used to have Stone Cold 316s, used to have the Rock t-shirts. I can honestly say I don't own not one wrestling t-shirt. And I've been watching wrestling since 1982. I don't have not one article of clothing. I don't have one piece of merchandise in my house from any of the federations. When I was young, I made my own wrestling ring before anybody ever thought of it. I used to use old um, Credible Hawk and, and Captain America and Superman. I used to use them as the wrestlers. And I made my own ring from scratch. I ain't got not one wrestling memorabilia in the house at all. Why? Because that's how weak it had got. That's how weak it had got. Anyway, y'all, this has been Mr. Brother Dirt. Um, I got a busy day tomorrow. Um, we we was going to go out to Walmart because I wanted a couple things. Um, I got some people coming out. Um, I got a, a medical visit. People coming out Monday. I wanted to uh, get a good sweet mop. And I wanted to get some ammonia. And I wanted to get a... Um, I have two mops. But I want a mop that's South Reagan. So uh, we're going to do that. So I'm going to get the place nice and spotless. Um, But I have to come home. I'm expecting the package that we're supposed to come till Monday. It's coming tomorrow. I had to call Mobility. And cancel. So we, we was going to go out and ride around. We can't do that now. So we go into the hospital. And we coming right back. Unfortunately. And uh, I tried to add a trip on. Let me come home. Get the package. And then come back out. They wouldn't go for it. So they wouldn't go for it. What can we do? But anyway. I got to go to sleep. I got to get up. I'm going to the heart failure clinic tomorrow. So uh, if I don't want them to keep me. I got to go in there and be perfect. Cause they real quick to try and send you to the ER. So I got to go in there and uh hopefully I get to go in and come out. Going to the heart failure clinic is like going to the Roach Motel. Sometimes you walk in, sometimes you don't walk out. <laughs> but uh but I've been doing good lately with my health, so ain't that big a deal. I've been doing Like I say, that's God's technology. We push the white through the black. And the black levels are amazing and so is the color. It's amazing the color that we get to come through along with the black. It's just amazing. And like I said, I hope somebody can improve on it. And that's why I keep pushing. But I'm happy with what I got. But I think we can do better. That's me personally. I think we can do better. That's why I keep pushing. That's why I'm so aggressive. To make somebody mad enough. To do something. Like I said. um, Somebody emailed me today. And uh. Show. Sent me a video on this this strip, and the people had decent lighting in the room, but you could tell the black level was trash, and it was supposed to reflect the the level, but at the very top, because you know they had a white screen, and the white screen looked just like my ceiling with the lights on. <laughs> Y'all believe it ain't gonna wash out, huh? Go ahead, wait, won't wash out. And um they had black on the sides. But the very top, you can see 
was washed out. Just the top strip was washed out. From the get-go. And then the lady took a flashlight, and she put the flashlight in the middle of the screen, like my figure is, and then was, and then she was trying to push it into the screen. I ain't never seen nobody take a light and push it into the screen, put it in the middle of the screen, and push it in. But then she took it out, and she kept showing it forward. When she showed it forward, you saw the light clear as day. So I put it to the test. I did that test with um, God's technology. Like I said, on the uh, on the scooter over there, we have two bike halogen lights. They are on the tiller of the scooter. And we got a little small bike light that I wear on the helmet. I set them up and aimed them at the screen. Right at the dead center. And God's technology did good. So. And we still kept our black levels. So. God technology won. God can get mad all he want. I mean. Victory is a victory. So I don't know what he's mad about. But you know. You can't tell somebody what to be. They're going to be what they want to be. You know, so just let it go. I'm going back and forth so we don't get flat. If y'all wonder why I go back and forth between screens, I got to be slow motion. But this is a Jim Cornette picture, so we should be all right. This is just a photograph we're looking at, so we should be all right. But it's a good example. And look at the white. And look at the white. I think it's amazing how we get white to come through black. White and black are so different. They are the total opposite of the spectrum. Black is total darkness. And white is the total opposite. Whenever you're in darkness, what do you get? You get a white flashlight. Only problem with white is white pick up everything. It's in everything. So ambient light. Which is another reason why I got confused about the demonstration. Ambient light is not wanting other light from the room to be on your screen except for the projector light. You only want the light from the projector to be on your screen. Only that image. I can't figure out why are you aiming a flashlight at the screen or why are you putting a flashlight sideways in the middle of the screen. The object of ambient light rejection is to have no light showing on the screen. So why would you put a flashlight on the screen? To me, it didn't make any sense. I mean, maybe y'all understand it. Maybe I'll show y'all the video because I didn't get it. I mean, I don't understand the demonstration. But why would you put a light in the center? Because, see, I didn't put these lights up here. The place came like that. And when I turn the lights on and I show it, people say, well, you know, um, you have a light in the center of the screen. So how is it supposed to do? Well, then why the hell would you put a flashlight in the center of the damn screen? Do you, do you feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying, do, do you understand? Maybe I'm missing something. Anyway, y'all, uh, let me get out of here. I, I got to go to sleep. Uh, we got to get up, you know, we got to head to the doctors. Uh, so uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Ain't no need in recording because it ain't nothing. Oh, it depends on, on what time we get done because um, I got the bus coming back as soon as possible because, like I said, I'll wait doing something tomorrow. So we definitely going to. Um... Now, they haven't been delivering to the wrong building, so. I got to make sure I get that. I got to make sure I get that. That package. So we're not going to be able to go out and ride around and do the show. And we'll probably go out on Friday or Saturday. But uh, we got to get this over with. Like I said, we'll probably go out Friday or Saturday. I call it a bigger trip. But I, I got to get that package. It's very important. So. All right, y'all. Venice above the dark. Y'all have a good night. To those of you that commented, thank you. To those of y'all 
that liked the videos and uh, actually took the time to watch them, I thank you. Some of you might agree with me. Some of you might not agree with me. But the point is, is to have the conversation. Because maybe we can get the attention of AEW and maybe they can do something. Because I really, unlike AEW, and you can get mad all you want, I watch NXT. They got so many good women there, and it's like they have to get in line to be champ. Some of them will never see the title. They got a lot of good women, good women wrestlers that look good, that wrestle good, that talk good. It's like it's like somebody training them. They just look good. I would love to see Thea Hale in a couple of years. And the girl Jordan, she's a cutie. And you got the girl Perez. And then um um you got the girl that won the night. Uh what's her name? Uh shucks. Uh, I can't think of her name. Some Irish. Uh, she beat the man Becky Lynch. I was surprised that that, that 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 she lost to her. I was really surprised. But like I said, Star our star was born. They already got Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany Stratton is like a young Charlotte Flair. Seriously, she's like a young Charlotte Flair. She's like a human Barbie doll. I'm dead serious. The girl is a human Barbie doll. She she could have played Barbie in the movie. She definitely got a bright feature. That's what I said. When you, you look at AEW and Sky Blue might do something. They ever do something with Willow Nightingale or Athena, maybe. Ruby Soho, ah, whatever. Please, Ruby Soho. Shh. Give her the belt, nobody will care. They gave Saray the belt, nobody cared. The only person that's even doing something is Tony Storm, and she acting a damn fool. Everybody like it. I think she was act stupid. I'd be fast forward in those clips, but uh, you know, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what the like. I cannot tell you what the like. Who else? Chris Statlander act like a damn man. Becky Lynch supposed to be the man. Chris Statlander, the damn man. Going around, carrying people on her shoulders, act, knowing that she got two bad knees. She got two bad legs and she walking around trying to carry about her shoulders. I mean, just the, the stupidness of AEW. If I was Tony Carr, there's no way I'd be letting her do that. You saw what happened with Rick Boogs. Rick Boogs tore his dang old legs up trying to pick up two people at the same time. I just don't understand it. Sorry, right, y'all. Minutes about Dirk. Y'all have a good night. Let me get out of here. Peace, everybody. And I'm out.